Alright guys, welcome back to this channel and today we are gonna be continuing in our new series and it's Minecraft but every 30 seconds we get random item. It's really simple, there's nothing to think about. So uh, in the previous video we did get a lot of progress, we managed to get some stuff, okay, we managed to get some stuff over here there's also the great concrete from bone block okay we should keep that let's grab it into bone that's gonna be really important either way let's expand we also got like um new like the best i almost like really good items like we got really lucky okay we got an iron pickaxe nine diamonds Bucket of tropical fish, which is basically like a water bucket, which is amazing. Emerald and the emerald is not really that needed, but these four things for sure. The pickaxe not. The only two things are these two, but still, the others are also pretty important, I guess. Now, you, if you wonder why this sand is here, it is in case we get bamboo, because from bamboo in the new versions you can actually make uh, wood from bamboo aka bamboo planks so in case we get bamboo that way we have something to grow it on we have this sand over here so that's it and like i said before uh the, the first like i would say five maybe videos will be just expanding so we're not gonna really do anything but don't worry because we'll still get items and i'm trying to think of what can we do we definitely need first like a source of food right so like a farm or if we get fishing rod we can make already one block fishing i guess if we would get like a campfire that would be even better because we have one water bucket meaning we can start fishing but we first of all n would need somewhere to cook the fish and a fishing rod right that's of course the main most important thing so but it's not that important we can always just jump into the void to see to just reset our hunger and yeah i don't think Okay, we got a netherite ingot. How lucky! <laughs> we got literally netherite ingot. Like, we're gonna get so much stuff before we can even get. Um, before we can even get dirt, bro. We don't have a single piece of dirt, but we already have netherite, diamonds, pickaxe, and everything. <laughs> Crazy. All right well we again have to pray to the rng gods that they will bless us today because they kind of blessed us last time right but we but it was last time right today i don't feel like really lucky so we just have to hope that we actually get good stuff and not uh, smithing templates like before as well but in except for the smithing templates and few banner patterns we actually managed to get uh, lots of stuff and useful stuff and we expanded by like a lot and today we already dis did this layer which <laughs> we did that right now this layer which i feel like is really cool yeah so we gotta expand more for sure and okay i should stop running around because i see that my hunger is running is is getting low so we should definitely we really need to get that mushroom cow i hope we can get it or any plants because we do have bone meals meaning we can do something but we need to farm see wait Okay, now the right the faces of the moon changes. We're gonna have full iron armor soon. 
the face I forgot I didn't know about that in Minecraft to be honest that f moon faces actually change each day I did not know. I just realized it now it's like this and before it was actually uh, in the previous video it had two shapes the first one was when I confused it with the Sun or actually it looked really familiar it was just smaller and uh, I mean similar not familiar and now nah, and then it was like a real moon shaped okay it was like a real moon shape now it's just like there's the bright side and it's slowly turning into dark I don't know what's it called but yeah it had it has different shapes than it had which I have no I had no idea that that thing is mine in Minecraft that moon shapes actually exist in Minecraft like I had no idea that it exists like look now it has that shape oh, totally different from before it's actually sick man I love it It's really cool. We got clock. Not like we need it in here because like we see the sun and moon and like you know what's weird? Why isn't it bright all day? Because like the sun is up, right? So it's day. That makes sense. But even if the sun is down, it kinda like shines on us still. So it should be still kind of day right it would still be darker of course but like i'm not really great at astrology and uh, galaxy shit even though i love uh space but i think it should work like that right <laughs> i may be wrong correct me but i don't know it's minecraft after all there isn't many things that make sense You know what I don't understand about Minecraft? Why they made only sand and gravel uh, make uh, gravity blocks that they just fall? Why don't other fall? I mean, I guess I do see kind of a point in that. Like, I do kind of see the reason, but like, not at the same time, if you know what I mean. So yeah, our, we kind of need food though. So maybe if we get food, I'll be way cooler we got glow item frame we don't even have anything to place it on do we I, I guess this and we can place like our emerald or actually our netherriding gun in there <laughs> and like now we have a glowing netherriding gun I guess I don't know how to call it Right, we can get something useful now maybe you know like a log we didn't get I'm not complaining I I they gave me what I asked for oh my god six pl seven blocks that's actually crazy man S oh my god that's actually crazy look how much we expanded by just one log <laughs> seven blocks wow that's actually really sick like what is our friend and we got another acacia truck what's the chance <laughs> oh my god bro this is interesting we could use more wood yeah cherry wood is cherry sap che oh my god cherry sap trees are actually probably the best they look good they have when they grow up they have lots of I mean I guess pretty decent amount of wood and uh, once they are chopped down the amount of saplings you get from the trees is insane like they give you so many saplings from just one tree you get like you can get like 20 saplings from just one tree i'm not even kidding like that's actually pretty sick and insane 
we have to expand by one more roll over here okay and I guess there's nothing else to do so I'll just AFK again for a bit and I'll see you soon all right I am back and it seems we got few items Wh how bro what's again what's the chance of getting the same item I'm gonna keep this one because I don't want it to spread but like okay but like exp there has to be like um, I have no idea but there has to be like a chance each time you get a block or I there like each time you get an item there has to be like a f I don't know five percent chance for you to get the same item again like for example five percent like there has to be some kind of person there's no way the item is random every single time there's no way like I don't know if it's only me but for me like getting two same items in short amount of time is kind of common for me I don't know how or why like there like there's no way there's like there has to be like a chance right after you get an item that there has to be like 95% chance you get any any other random item and 5% to get the same item because there's no way it does completely random and it and it and I get it again right you get what I mean there's like no way that it's random each time there has to be like 5% chance you get the same item as you did before like there's like it's pretty quick okay lightning one that will come in come in handy for sure because if we get another big spawn egg instead of waiting for us to get villager spawn eggs we can just um, breed a lot of pigs and then once it's gonna be storm with lightning rod we can turn them into pigments which will drop gold that way we can get golden apples or if we get golden apples then yeah but like we can get golden apples like that or just gold in general in case we need it it's not gonna be really useful in here but still i'm gonna keep it because the lightning rod is like one of the steps of getting a villager in here i mean one of the ways of getting a villager right not steps Okay, what? Why have I made this? It looks kind of weird. It does. I should <laughs> remove. Oh, it's a wet sponge. I was like, why is it? What is it? Wait a minute. If it's dropping water from it, if you put a cauldron beneath, under it, well it fill up the cauldron that's my question i never actually get to, got to test that i think okay i know what i'm gonna do once we get another uh wood or nah i'm not gonna i was about to uh if we would get wood convert it into normal planks and build like just around one block and place the water block what water inside that way we can fish but we don't have the fishing rod right and i don't think we're re we really need fish fishing that much if we could get blocks from fishing then yeah it would be really great but because then we cannot get blocks from fishing yeah, i don't see a reason in that and we are crying obsidian sure 
We don't care about crying obsidian, it can continue crying. Okay, why is my chair so... Okay, yeah, I don't mind those sounds in the background, that's my chair. I don't know why, I, th I mean, this chair is pretty old. It's, yeah, it's a normal gaming chair, but I have it for like three years now. I know that's not really much long time, but... Okay, it is raining, that's really great. That's, that's, I mean, I don't really mind, it's not like this. It could have been good if we would have cordon though, that way you can fill it up with water. Even though I'm pretty sure we'll get another, um, and uh, you know what I would do in real life? Just take this water bucket, um, uh, take this water bucket, uh, mm, and then just fill with the bucket. I would fill this charcoal box with water, close it, and then just uh, put and then just throw the bucket on the ground so it rains more water in. And then we'll just have infinite sounds, right? Or just why cannot it rain into the uh, what if you just wow, why doesn't Minecraft have this actually? If you have an empty bucket, right then if you have empty bucket why don't ca why can't you just place it in here and there's my carpet by the way why can't you just place it in here and the water would actually uh, fill from the rain i mean the bucket would fill with water that would be so cool why don't like only if the bucket is in the hopper not like just i don't know but you get my point, right? I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be that bad idea. I don't know who would use it. But I guess people who do challenges like this. I love challenges like this. Because normal Minecraft, let's be honest, gets boring over time. And I love challenges. So this is amazing for me. And I have so many data packs. I can play and I kind of want to. So I'll just make the video from it, which is like... Minecraft is one of the games I love because there is, there's so many ways you can mod it. There's so many mods to it. You like you have so many options in Minecraft. Of course, there's other games that you can mod a lot, but Minecraft is just good. And considering I don't have the best PC, it's also really FPS friendly, which is also another thing another thing that I like GTA 5 is also a game where you have so many options to mod and stuff yeah but I would still I wouldn't say it's as much uh, as Minecraft right but yeah yeah GTA 5 is also one of the games where you can like okay we could block of code we'll definitely save these resources because coal and just fuel in general will be really important later on and not only later on if we get like raw iron block we can just smelt iron right we already got like we only need legging pants and boots to just have full set of iron armor which is actually pretty crazy well let me save this and okay what the hell is my dog doing okay yeah he's just <laughs> chilling yeah i don't mind the mo noises in background it's either my dogs or my chair squeaking or sque is it called squeaking i have no idea i don't get my point yeah, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it in the previous videos, but my main microphone broke, so I ha and I play on laptop, right? So I have to use the laptop uh, microphone, the built-in microphone to actually record something because if I plug in my micro or the microphone did not break. It's something, uh, it's like the sound drivers, uh, not, dr I don't know what they're called. 
basically mm, in the laptop right because I have two microphones one on my headphones which I didn't don't use and one on one external right like just microphone and they're both working correctly when I tried them on my dad's PC they work perfectly and when I plugged them in, in here they didn't work or like it not like it doesn't work but there's like a bad connection with the um, with like between not the cable the cable is fine but the end of the cable like the thing you plug into the PC so there's something wrong inside the PC that makes all the microphones that are plugged in all external microphones just not work if I twist uh, if I like plug it in and twist with the cables and little bit it works but like works and doesn't work at the same time if you know what I mean because I have to stay still and do not move a muscle for it to keep working and considering I have probably ADAD then I cannot stand still or just not move right I I just can't stand still or just not do anything at all I always have to play with something it's just my <laughs> ADAD just but yeah it is not uh, the microphone fault it's the it's something wrong inside the PC and I'm currently um, trying to build my own PC but it's so fucking expensive <laughs> it, uh, it's gonna take me a few months probably to get a brand new PC so until then I guess this is the way I'm gonna record the videos I mean there's no other way I can't help it and I do not want to um, try and fix this problem because I'm scared I'm not a professional at these things right I don't know how to do them I only know how to do few things okay I know how to get inside the laptop I know how to remove the uh, coolers and stuff but I do not want to risk it because I because I tried it once already and I broke something inside the piece not inside but like the cover the cover for the fans I broke those and yeah there, it's no problem if I there's no they are not really needed they're just like dust proof and stuff and so, so I broke those and from that moment I do not want to because if I break this laptop this is my only uh, laptop I have or PC in general I had a PC but I um, gave it to my bro oh we got a blast furnace. but I gave it to my brother because I got this PC and that wasn't that one was lagging right but now I but my brother didn't want it he only took the case from it and left all the components in here so now I actually uh, got a new case, I bought it, I bought a new case, put all the um, uh, components together again, so like the PC will boot up, okay, the PC will start, but um, causing all the components were lying in the, in the barn for like one year, then the RAMs broke or just something and it's not showing up on the monitor so it has to be like either the graphics card motherboard or just uh, the RAMs something from those and I'm pretty sure it's the, it's the RAMs because I wouldn't I don't think the PC would even start with the motherboard not working right but I, like I said I have no idea about any of this okay but I'm pretty sure like without the motherboard working the PC would not start 
I'm pretty, I'm like 80% sure of that. So it has to be the Rams because you can even uh, start a PC without graphics card. Yeah, graphics card is just for playing and getting better perform performance. I think. Okay, these are just my uh, my knowledge. What I know, you can always correct me in the, in the comments. I won't be mad. I'll just be happy because I will know more stuff, right? And like, it has to be the Rams. And it's true that I oh. Uh, and one reason why I'm really sure it's the Rams because uh, they, I wasn't taking a good, really good care because look. Once I had got the idea that I can build the PC again, when I got the when I bought the case, then uh, when I was taking the RAMs from the barn to my room, then it they fell multiple times on the ground, and, and one time when they fall on the ground, I accidentally stepped on them, and I pretty sure they did not survive that like I was or at that moment I already knew they weren't working but I still wanted to give it a try and they don't work of course but everything else works so only if I buy I'm gonna buy uh, mm, I'm gonna make a priority list of what should I buy first and last and I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do the priority list of based on what is causing the causing the PC to not boot up or just not showing up at the monitor. So for me, my first priority right now is buying new RAMs. If that still doesn't work and uh, mo it will still not show up on the monitor, I'll check what else can be causing that problem and just try to buy that thing new and just keep continuing it until it works right and once it works i'll just slowly upgrade it all other things you know so that's kind of my plan what i'm trying to do right now and other than that there's really nothing much like I'll, you know, i'll just have to survive with what i have right now for a few months until I get oh, first of all get more money so I can buy more uh, stuff for this and that's it I guess I get the money is the only problem yeah if I had the money I would already buy everything and build yeah I do not want to build a uh, do not want to buy a pre-built pre -built PC for multiple reasons. First of all, it's really expensive. Second of all, if I if I build it myself, I can choose what whichever components I want. It's not and it's not um, considering you don't buy the whole PC. It's not gonna be. It's still gonna be expensive, but you can buy like one part at one, at one time, right? You don't have to build. You don't have to buy the whole PC for like two thousand dollars, right? You can just buy each month one component, and in like I don't know five months you're gonna be finished. So that's just something what i th of course you have to build it yourself but there today learning how to build a pc is a piece of cake if i did it without a tutorial then oh my god we actually got a farmland oh my god do you know how op that is it's first of all it's dirt meaning Oh my god, we actually managed to get dirt. There's no way. Okay, we have to keep this at all costs. We have our first farmland, guys. We're running really low on food. And I'm not even kidding. 
Um, okay, I'll go AFK again, see if we can get any more seeds. Mm. And if not, then I'll just jump into the void because we're really running out of food. True is we cannot die without food, so it's not the highest priority, but it kind of sucks having no hunger bars. Okay, I'm gonna already save the blocks for. Mm, actually, not. We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we should just expand this way, I think, for now. And yeah, I'll go FK and see you soon again. So, yeah. Alright, I am back. We seem to get again a little bit of items. We got a button. And we got lilac. Alright. It's. I hope it's red like that. We're gonna keep every single item, like I said. You never know when it comes to actually good use. And yeah, I think that's it for today. I'm gonna end it here because again, it's almost midnight. As you can see, it is literally 11 p.m. <laughs> Actually crazy, man. So yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, you can like and subscribe. If you have any tips for me, uh, to build my PC actually you can give me tips in the comments or join the discord server and Say and give me some tips over there That's gonna be kind of better because I don't look on YouTube that often Though on discord. I'm like all the time. And we got another picture part bro. See like again the same item But this time it was random for sure so yeah mm, i'll see you in the next video but the day we expanded by real lots of okay we had just four by four i believe island now we have nine by nine by seven which is great and we actually got lantern which